let's set up our graph. Okay, the name of our graph is heating curve of water. So what we did, we heated solid water, it became liquid water, and then it became gas. The name of our heating curve for water is temperatures degrees Celsius versus time in minutes. How we come up with that name is first we decide what is our independent variable and what is our dependent variable. Our independent variable will be along the x-axis, our dependent variable will be on the y-axis. We are calling our independent variable time, and time is in minutes. And we are calling our dependent variable temperature, temperatures degrees Celsius. Our dependent variable temperature changes over time. It depends on the time for the temperature. Okay, to set up our x-axis, to figure out the numbers we want to put on our x-axis, we have to count the number of boxes across the x-axis. There were 50 boxes. Uh, we, our data included 37 minutes. So if we take 50 boxes divided by 37 minutes, that equals 1.35 box per minute. 1.35 boxes is hard to count, so we'll make each box one minute. And then I skipped a box and just counted by twos, two, four, six, eight, etc. But each box represents one minute. And then on our y-axis, if you count the boxes up the y-axis, there are 28 boxes. Our temperature goes from zero to 116 degrees Celsius. So we take 116 degrees Celsius divided by 28 boxes. That means 4.14 uh, degrees Celsius for each box. 4.14 is hard to count, so let's round up to five. So each box equals five degrees Celsius, five, 10, 15, 20. Again, I skipped a line and counted by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, but each box represents five degrees Celsius. Okay, let's look at our data and plot our data. At one minute, we had, let's see, at one minute, we had one degree Celsius. Um, oh, that's at zero minutes. Let's look at what we had at zero minutes. At zero minutes, we started at one degree Celsius. At one minute, we had two degrees Celsius. At two minutes, we had three degrees Celsius. At four, at three minutes, we had six degrees Celsius. At four minutes, we had 11 degrees Celsius. At five minutes, we had 25 degrees Celsius. At six minutes, we had 44 degrees Celsius. At seven minutes, we had 62 degrees Celsius. At eight minutes, we had 78 degrees Celsius. At nine minutes, we had 96 degrees Celsius. And then from 10 minutes to 33 minutes, we had 99 degrees Celsius. At 34 minutes, we had 100 degrees Celsius. At 
At 35 minutes, we had 103 degrees Celsius. At 36 minutes, we had 104 degrees Celsius. At 37 minutes, we had 116 degrees Celsius. So if we connect the dots, let's put in all the 99s, it flatlined at 99 degrees Celsius. So what happens at 100 degrees Celsius? What do we call that? So we're just below 100 degrees Celsius. And then finally at 34 minutes, we get to 100 degrees Celsius. So at 100 degrees Celsius, we would call that boiling. So why is our boiling point 99 instead of 100 degrees Celsius? It could be because of some impurity in our water. Here at the bottom at zero degrees Celsius, this would be melting. Just below one degree Celsius at zero degrees Celsius is melting. And this line up here is liquid water. So then when we get above 100 degrees Celsius, that would be gas. We're taking the temperature of the gas. Okay, this is called the heating curve. At zero degrees Celsius, we have melting. Below zero degrees, we would have solid water. Uh, between zero and 100 degrees, we have liquid. Right at 100 degrees, we have boiling. So this time is passing, and we're adding heat to our system, but the temperature is not going up. We're continuing to heat our system, but the temperature is not going up. Why is the temperature not going up during boiling? It's because it takes energy to go from liquid to gas, for the molecules to change their state from liquid to gas. Okay, there's a few questions on a Google Doc for you to answer, and that will complete our exercise.